two of the most difficult zodiacs to date. <laughs> Bottom line, this is off of opinions from people who have dated them and also just their energetic alignment. Number one would definitely be the Aquarius. The Aquarius has a bad rap and many of the times the rap is well-deserved. And then the second is the Capricorn. Both of these energies are ruled by Saturn. And then we have the Aquarius that gets the extra dose of Uranus. Okay, so you want to date a Capricorn. There's a few things you need to know. A Capricorn is very much structured off of goals and energy of movement that feels very centered around interpersonal, but also structure. Capricorns love to see success and they have a long chance of making long-term goals with partnerships. However, you have to be a little bit structured as well. You also have to see energies of presence in what it is that you two are working for together. Don't get me wrong, Capricorns are adventurous and they also like to have a good time even though there is a focus about them that a lot of people just don't understand. Let's talk about the Aquarius. The Aquarius is definitely has a bad rap. A lot of people say that they're detached. It's not that they're detached, they're probably bored. <laughs> and how do you keep a, an Aquarius very, I guess you could say, centered around excitement? That would be doing new things, trying new things, going new places, creating lots of memories. Also with an Aquarius, you also have to remember that Aquarius sometimes need their space because they have a lot of projects going around, projects going on in the mind, and they just need time to kind of like do their own thing. But if you can work with these two zodiacs, there is an ability of creating a long-term partnership with both of them. And while these two zodiacs kind of have a bad rap, they actually make really good partners. Let me know, have you ever dated an Aquarius or a Capricorn and how did it work out?